Yeah, thanks for the nice uh, introduction. Um, yeah, it's a great pleasure for me to speak here. I'm coming from the silicon-based photovoltaics world, and these are the, the printed electronics, electronics world. I think always that there is a lot of room for synergy, so I like really to speak here. We can learn from your world, and I hope that you can also learn a bit from our world. So the title is uh, Synergy and Human Hair, Final Metallization for Next Generation Silicon Solar Cells. So this as an introduction to the Fraunhofer Institute for Solar Energy Systems. Um, so we are one of many Fraunhofer Institutes, about 80 Fraunhofer Institutes, also a couple of Fraunhofer Institutes available uh, here at the LOPEC. Um, so we have a strong focus um, on the renewable energy systems you know, and everything what is behind. So starting from the right, um, we have the um, some energy distribution, you know, for example, power electronics and grids. Um, then we have the storage, there we are also in close collaboration, for example, with Core Thema um, for hydrogen components, et cetera, PP, and also battery cells is a topic uh, at our site. So then we have the integrated um, energy systems and the energy uses, usage, like for example, heat pumps. And uh, then we have the photovoltaics, organic, perovskite, but our uh, working horse is definitely the um, silicon-based photovoltaics, um, and this is also state-of-the-art in photovoltaics in general. Yeah, here you see a quite short insight in our uh, infrastructure. We have uh, 2,000, uh, 20, 2,300 square meter of lab space, also clean rooms. Um, here you see a picture of our coworkers. Uh, we are hiring as well, students, a PhD. So if you're interested, then just ask, yeah. Uh, today I will show some approaches um, on uh, integrate uh, fine line metallizations. So there we have a focus on screen printing um, and the mask and plate process uh, for copper metallization and flex tray, a new printing technique. So um, um, concerning the market, um, the yellow curve um, is the primary energy that we use in photovoltaics, and there's not so much to say. There's only one direct direction that's upwards, yeah? so we need the solar energy. In uh, 2022, we could achieve a um, cumulative uh, installed capacity all over the world um, of one terawatt. Yeah? This is quite a lot. Uh, if you think about um, um, solar, solar plants, this would be five times the area of Berlin, uh, and it will even increase up to 63 terawatt in 2050. This is what we expect for achieving the climate goals. So if we take a look on production capacities available, at the moment we have 345, or in 2023 we had um, 345 uh, gigawatt peak of production capacities. Um, unfortunately, um, Thomas Kobisch already said that 90% of that is in China, uh, and uh, we really would like to have it back uh, in Europe. We had Fraunhofer ISE, uh, and also my colleague from the ISC who's speaking later. We have the technologies for that. Uh, if someone is interested to do this again uh, in uh, Germany and Europe, then um, come to us, and we have the solutions for that. Um, we expect um, to achieve these, um, these uh, scenarios, which I um, showed before. So, um, if we take a look on these um, up to 100 um, global PV capacity um, terawatts, uh, we would need not 345 gigawatt peak, it would be more 3,000 gigawatt peak. So three terawatt peak of production, almost a tenth of that. So there's a lot of things to do still yeah, in production. Um, okay, so now what I just um, quickly introduce uh, the goals um, um, with a focus um, on the metallization that you see here on the right-hand side. Yeah, um, the silicon-based solar cell has metal electrodes on the front side. Um, there are bus bars who collect the current um, from the fingers, and in between these bus fingers, yeah, which collect the current from the silicon solar cells. Um, just as a rule of thumb um, concerning properties that we um, expect from the fingers is that we have a feature size of below 20 microns. Yeah, so if we are in contact um, to uh, solar cell suppliers, uh, and if you have a new metal printing technique, it's always like that, that they say the feature size needs to, needs to be below 20 microns. Yeah? Uh, and then we need also an spec ratio of 50% to get the current out of the cell, yeah? and this is then also the compromise um, to keep transparency and conductivity at one time. Um, the electrical line resistivity should be below 10 micro -ohm centimeter for the fingers, yeah? and uh, electrical contact resistivity um, of the fingers to silicon or TCO should always be in the range of one milliohm centimeter square. 